Hey, you're back here on Open. BronxWorks offers many programs to the Bronx community. They're here today to make sure you and your family are aware of their after-school programs and not miss the enrollment deadline. So here to give us a little bit more is the Program Director of Cornerstone Community Centers at BronxWorks, Ms. Lizette Yevis, and we welcome you to the show. Good to have you. Thank you. Thank Good. you for having me. Oh, we're glad to have you. So as we talk about summer, summer's in full effect. Yes, but, it uh, is. You got summer camp going on too, huh? We have lots going on. <laughs> Um, we, I, we run two community centers, uh, they're cornerstone programs. One is at the Betances Community Center, located at 547 East 146th Street. The other one is the Classic Community Center, which is at 286 East 156th Street. And we've been running a summer camp since July 7th for 110 students at Betances and 150 students at the Classic. In addition, we have a middle school expansion program that's recently funded by the de Blasio mm -hmm. administration where we provide services for young people ages 11 to 13 from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Mm -hmm. In addition, our centers are open from uh, 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. Monday to Thursday for uh, teens and adults. In addition, we're open Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Wow. Uh, Fridays from 8 p.m., 8 a.m. to 11, 12.30 a.m. And on Saturdays and Sundays, we're open from 3 p.m. to 12.30 a.m. So there's no reason for somebody not to be able to be a part of something? No, there's no reason for anyone to be part of, to miss out on anything. So when you talk about kids having the opportunity to really be a part, are you seeing more and more kids becoming part of these programs given the fact that, you know, uh, summer sometimes resources are kind of skim, but you guys seem to be like cornering the market on, 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 on corralling the kids in. Yeah, no, I mean, it's been um, a great initiative that was uh, initiated by the de Blasio administration to have our centers open more. They're located in uh, New York City Housing Authority residences, and it's a really great opportunity. Um, the summer camp is designed for children ages 5 to 12. Mm -hmm. um, and our goal is really to provide them with opportunities to bridge that summer learning gap, um, recreational opportunities, trips to explore New York City. Um, and our trips are mostly linked to whatever the young people are learning. We, you know, we like to take them to museums. We like to take them to the parks. We like to um, really just kind of expand their horizons. Mm -hmm. um, in the middle school expansion program, this gives an opportunity for those young people who maybe missed out on the summer camp. Uh, deadlines because it's very limited in terms of the resources and the number of children um, and we usually have a very long waiting list so mm -hmm. the opportunity to serve these 11 to 13 year olds in another context within that six to nine period has really expanded our ability to provide services to more young people and when you talk about having exposure that's a big thing that I guess you know having camps and having opportunities for youth or give them opportunity to have exposure this year they'll be exposed to uh, or exposed to Olympic, uh, Olympic style uh, exposure, if you will. Absolutely. Um, our, someone reached out to our executive director, uh, Eileen Torres, and with the opportunity to have Derek Atkins, who is an Olympic gold medalist. Um, he, in, he won the gold medal for the 400 meter hurdles. And he, there was an opportunity for him to come visit our program. So our site director, Keisha Roberts, jumped on the opportunity mm -hmm. and not only had him come in, but created an entire event around it and we had an Olympic day at the Classic Community Center with both our kids from Betances and the Classic. So we had over 250 children participate in different Olympic activities and then the culmination was him speaking to the young people about his experience being a gold medalist. It was a very exciting talk because he not only emphasized his um, you know excellence in sports but he also emphasized that he also was very academically oriented and it helped in, in terms of reaching his goal. Um, and he was very mo motivational. The kids were like really excited that an Olympic gold medalist came to visit them. Yeah, and give me a little bit about that because when you have a ki uh, kids who have the opportunity to have Olympic, uh, Olympic caliber exposure, uh, what's the takeaway? What, what, were their t what was their takeaway? Um, I think one of the, the things that he, he focused on was that in order to be an Olympic gold medalist, you have to do the best that you can at everything that you do. Mm -hmm. So in order to be the best, you have to have this Olympic mentality and just put all your efforts into what you need to do. And, you know, you can, the more effort you put into what you do, the more successful you will be. 
and the young people were just again they were just so excited and I was reviewing the thank you letters the other day and they were just like we want to be just like you we want to be a winner you know now I'm gonna put all my energies into the things that I love um, and really you know focus on you know it's it's not just enough to be like the best basketball player to be you know the best uh, you know speller but you also have to focus on your academics and and how that ties into everything mm -hmm. that you do and you talk about academics I mean I don't want to say this word but school is coming oh yeah around the corner Absolutely. August is here yeah and you know before you know it September will be here kids will be once again engaged in school activities but you guys do a lot of stuff on the after school side yes so give us a little bit about some of the upcoming after school programs that actually kids can be a part of if a parent says my, my child doesn't you know want to play sports how mm -hmm. can I get them involved in stuff? Well, um, we are actually starting our enrollment for both centers um, right now. So, and we do give priority to people who are NYCHA residents. Mm -hmm. um, you know, again, these facilities are in NYCHA buildings, and we want to make sure that, you know, NYCHA residents really take advantage of the opportunity to enroll in the program. The children that are currently in the program also have priority, so they need to make sure they meet their deadlines, submit their paperwork, and then, um, you know, the, the after-school programs will start on September 8th, and we, they run from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. at both centers, and we provide homework help, academic enrichment, so in addition to whatever homework they do, we do literacy enhancement, math, STEM, which is science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Um, we have a computer lab that they can take advantage of. We do also art, dance, physical education is a very important component of our program. Um, and uh, recreation, just, you know, uh, we try to make it very balanced so that, you know, they get that, whew, yeah after they come out of school, but we also do hit them with the academics as well. So people who want to find out more information about Bronx Works? Um, we, you can visit our website, which is www.bronxworks.org, or you can also call either center, Betances 718-585-5040, or or the classic, which is 718-665-1300. All right, Lizette, thank you so much for coming to share Thank you us. so much. Lizette Nieves, and she's joining us here from Bronx Works. And, uh